what's going on y'all we are out here today on navarre beach got the surf right behind me gonna be a little rough trying to get out but should be very doable got my buddy rusty back here and we are going out to the reefs try to drop down there's grouper trigger fish red snapper all sorts of stuff in the area so y'all stay tuned we're about to launch these things get after it see if we can find some fish check it out we got a whole cooler full of sardines this is going to be used for chum right here we also got we also got some squid and some frozen seeds under the seat that's what we're going to be using for bait but yeah let's go ahead and launch in this stuff There we go. <sighs> Y'all, that is always the worst part of going offshore. He's getting out. We still got big rollers on us, but it's getting out and coming back in. The rest is a cakewalk, depending on the conditions. Today, we got one or two footers at seven seconds, which should be a decent roll, but not, not too bad. Not too bad. I will say, if y'all are watching this and wondering if you should go offshore, if you don't have a decent amount of experience in a kayak, you know, in rough weather, in certain conditions, don't do it. And definitely never do it alone. While we head out to the spot, I am going to troll down this Rapala x rap Magnum 15, 15 foot diver. We're going to be trolling anywhere from about 30 to 60 feet on the way out the reefs we're going to hit about 60 feet and there are a ton of spanish in the area springtime like this first of march there's going to be spanish bonita all kinds of stuff is starting to move in from offshore and then the uh the deep dropping reefs should be should be on point this morning yeah we're on we just hooked up on a troll Woo! it's burning that's something big dude Oh man, we just started trolling too. Woo! Yeah, it's got some weight to it. Woo! Yeah, good pull. There's no telling what it is either. Could be so much, so many different species out here. Bonita, King, Spanish. Too early for cobia. Got a lot of head shakes. It's kind of feeling like it could be a bonita. And I do not have a gaff of any kind. You got a gaff? I don't know. I mean, that's, that's what's so crazy about coming offshore is that, I mean, you could hook up at any moment and there's a multitude of different species that they could be sharks, who knows? Woo! It's definitely got some fight to it. Definitely got some fight. Got some weight. Come on. Come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say that is definitely not a Spanish. Unless it's foul hooked. Come on up. Come on up. Get on up now. Running 40 pound test. I don't have any wire on there. A lot of these fish have teeth, so I could lose this $20 lure at any time by not running wire. Come on up. Come on up. What do we got? What do we got? Bobo. All right. Well, that is our first fish right there. Little Bonita. Fought like crazy because I had them hooked sideways up under the chin. Think we might save this guy 
for some cut bait there he is not even not even a big bonita guys but uh i think he's gonna make some good cut bait for later on you got a knife okay all right all right we just got out to our spots right here as you can see we are definitely marking a ton of fish down there so we're gonna go ahead and rig up get ready to drop down i got a really good feeling about this we are going to start off by dropping a cigar minnow down. I'll talk about my setup a little bit later on. I'm going to try to locate some fish first. Drop going down. There he is. I think he's on. He's on. There we go. First drop. Doesn't feel like nothing big, but it is kind of feeling like a trigger, but I got a feeling it's going to be a red snapper. Yep, trigger fish. All right. That's not a bad one. Trigger fish is actually open right now. And uh, I got a feeling this might would be a keeper. All right, so that right there is a trigger fish. You're allowed to keep one of these per person. Not exactly sure what the size limit is, but I'm sure he's pushing legal. Season opened up March 1st. Uh, but these are some of the prettiest fish out here. If y'all don't know why they're called a trigger fish, it's because they got this fin right here. And otherwise, you cannot push it down unless you pull the trigger right there. That trigger gets that fin to lay down. But this really, really beautiful fish, and they have some gnarly teeth. If that dude gets a hold of you, he's going to chew you up. We're going to go ahead and get this hook out, get a release on it, drop back down, pick up another fish. All right, drop him back down. See if we can't get old giant off of this reef. Nope. Getting hit already. There we go. Come there, he, there he is. That's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. Gotta get him up. Gotta get him up. That's a heavy one. Come on. Get up. I think we're out of danger. I think that is gonna be a decent snapper. Come on up. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Good digs, good digs. Let's go. That's a good fish. Yeah. Look at that snapper right there. That's a beautiful reef fish. Look at that one. Oh, come on around to my net side, girl. Look at that red snapper. Come here. Second drop. Second fish. These reefs are just absolutely loaded right now. And if I caught this guy on opening day of snapper season, I would definitely be satisfied in putting him in the box. What a fish. It's not a giant by any means, but definitely a solid snapper, especially for somebody that's coming out here in a kayak a mile and a half off of shore right there on these reefs and catching snapper. Y'all check that fish out right there. Snapper regulations are 16 inches. Anything over 16, you can keep when they're in season. And you can keep two per person. And I believe season's gonna open up around June 1st, something like that. And that right there is a 22 and a half inch snapper. I'm gonna go ahead and take this hook out. Send this girl back down to the bottom and see if we can't pick up some more fish. I got a feeling we will because they are stacked down there. All right, girl. Bye-bye. Y'all, it is a perfect day to be offshore. This nice, hazy, overcast right here. It's keeping us cool. We got a light breeze. Current's not ripping too fast. It is just perfect right now. There he is. There he is. Oh, that was another good one. I think that one got my bait. He did. All right, we're back on top of the reef now. Give it a good little drop down. There he is. There he is. There he is. Come here, dude. Feeling like a little guy, he is. 
still would be a legal snapper if it was open. So I believe we'd be throwing that one back looking for a bigger one. Fish number three. Bye bye. All right, so the setup that we're running, my rod is just a pin rampage jigging rod. Not a very expensive setup. I think it's a little over a hundred bucks or so. Uh, I could be wrong, I've had it forever, but great rod. And then on my reel, I'm running a Shimano Torum 16 with 60 pound braid. And I got that rigged up to a power swivel right there with an eight ounce weight. Whenever you're dropping down, you want to match your weight with the current. For me, most of the time, it's going to be either a six to eight ounce weight. Um, I want enough weight to keep my line straight down without my line scoping with the current. Um, and then my leader is a 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I got that to a three aught circle hook. Three aught small shank circle hook right there. Now you always want to match your hook size to the bait that you're using. Not the fish you're trying to catch, but the bait that you're using. And whenever you're using cigar minnows, you want a smaller hook. So I feel like a three aught works perfectly. And then we just hook those cigar minnows whole. And then I rig them just like that, straight through the eyes, drop them down whole. And uh, that's pretty much the deal. So let's get back on top of the reef, see if we can get us a big one. There he is. There we go. Come on up. Come on up. Not going to be a giant of any sorts, but it is another fish. Another snapper, another keeper. It is every single drop we're getting nailed. I know that there's also some mangrove snapper down there. We've caught bee liners and grouper off of these reefs before. So, a lot of different species down there. Right now, these reefs are absolutely stacked. Water temperature's hanging around 71 degrees, which is just about perfect. If y'all like this type of content right here, offshore fishing, we got a lot of good stuff planned for y'all. But if you want me to put out more content, just like this get this video to 900 likes and i'll be sure to come out here and do it we got the cobia that are about to start migrating through a lot of good stuff that is about to happen and i have some awesome content planned for y'all so get this video to 900 likes and i'll be sure to get it out to y'all there he is come on up dude all right okay okay he's holding Oh, he started to give up now. He had some really nice digs. It's like another red snapper. A little bit bigger than the last one. Bye-bye. What a bite. That was weird. Oh! There he is. There is a fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. No, 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 no. Get up. Get up. Come here. All right, let's go. Here we go. That's a good fish. There we go. I think we're out of danger. It's starting to dig on me again. Uh-uh. Come up. Come up. Oh, shorts, shorts. Uh. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. You almost got it, buddy. He almost got my citation snapper. There's so many sharks on this reef. Wow. Y'all, I had to boat flip this snapper right here. I had at least two sharks on his tail. Man, holy moly. <laughs> that was a close call. All right, 24 and three quarters dressed up on the board. 
Go ahead and give this guy a good send off. So I'm on top of the structure. I can feel my weight bumping into it. That's a good thing. Unless something just giant snatches it and runs me back into that structure. All right, y'all. Well, the sharks must have shut down the bite on the reef because after we released that fish, really, we got a couple of small bites. Nothing crazy, uh, but y'all check it out. I got these Ocean Waves glasses that I've been wearing for a while now, and I did partner up with Ocean Waves. Um, I wanted to test them out for a few months before I went out and pushed it to y'all. I wanted to make sure that they were good quality and that I liked them first. And through that, I absolutely do love these glasses. They are pretty awesome. Um, these are the Hannah frames and I have the green uh, mirrored lenses on them. Amazing glasses. I do have a $40 off coupon code down in the description. It's gonna be Nate40, uh, but I'll link all that down below. If y'all wanna pick up a pair of Ocean Waves, be sure to go over to their website, check them out, use my discount code, and yeah, that pretty much concludes today's episode. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, watching us come out here and catch these fish. I cannot wait until June 1st. We're gonna come out here and get on some fish, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if y'all would, hit the like button, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.